All right, let's head to Southern California now, where a fraternity at USC is suspended after an alleged sexual assault at their house. News Nation's Sandra Mitchell from our Los Angeles station KTLA has more on the allegations, which includes drugging women's drinks. There are a lot of angry students here at USC. There is a big crowd on the lawn protesting. And if you take a look at the Sigma Nu fraternity house just behind us, you can see students have plastered it with signs and sayings. Things like, rapist live here. The house on Fraternity Row appears to be empty, but the young man or men accused in this cannot hide from the allegations. The university, the LAPD, and the national chapter of Sigma Nu now are involved in the investigation. Wednesday night, the university sent out this crime alert. A student reported that she was drugged, something put in her drink, and then sexually assaulted. At least six other women later reported they were drugged at the same house on the same night. That was in late September. That triggered outrage on campus and last night a protest. Students swarming the frat house. It was a complete grassroots effort, uh, primarily led by female students at USC. And it kind of originated over social media and just a built up uh, frustration and sadness and anger. Guys in this house knew about it. Guys who weren't participating knew about this. This had to be a thing that so many men were complicit in and said nothing about. The question should not be like, what can girls do to be avoiding this? Girls already are terrified. Girls already do everything they can. How about we start talking about ways that we can get guys to come forward and report and to stop doing this? So what happens next? Well, I did review the university policy on sexual misconduct, and they will appoint an external hearing officer. If any student is found guilty, they could be expelled from the university. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles Police Department is also doing a criminal investigation. In Los Angeles, I'm Sandra Mitchell. Nicole, back to you.